Okay, guys, it's time to give you an update on the homemade pesticide. There's a little, I've used about two-thirds of it. It was filled all the way to the top. And, uh, and I sprayed, like every other day, I give a few squirts onto the one plant and not onto the other. So let me get that set up. I'm going to show you those plants. I'm also going to, I'm going to first show you around on my garden. We had issues this year, and one of them was heat. 90 degree, 100 degree days for weeks on end, very little rain. With, you know, uh, we've watered, uh, but the heat has just gotten a grip on things. But let me show you the garden first, then we'll look at the results of the homemade pesticide. And always remember, always keep in mind, it's never a perfect episode and something always goes wrong with Jack. Okay, this has done pretty good. It's got a little bit of wilting leaves, but these are our habaneros that are growing right now. They're doing really well. And somebody, my gardener told me peppers, all peppers do good in a lot of sunlight. So we have it out here. If you look at the basil, once again, we got wilting leaves from the heat, extreme heat. Uh, this is, all, by the way, it's in sunshine now, but most of the day it's in shade. I gotta take those tops off. They keep growing so fast. I keep clipping it and they keep growing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, that was not good. What the flip? Sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, that scared me. Sorry about that, I freaked out. So my hand's holding the camera, right? And a wasp lands right on my hand. Game over. Whoosh, I just ran. Sorry, all right, let's get back to the garden. Jeez. Fall can't get here soon enough, I'm telling you. Our bell peppers, they look horrible. I'm so embarrassed. They were going great. They were doing well. And then, they, like, look at the heat just getting in it also. This is, this was our pride and joy. You tying that up right now? Yeah. This is our pride and joy. And I'm going to tell you what happened. We had tons of tomatoes off this plant. Tons off all these plants. Tons of tomatoes. And Tammy and I didn't get to eat one of them. That's right. Every time they now start to two. turn. We got how many? We got two. Two? Uh -huh. Okay. All the animals, we've caught them out here eating all of our tomatoes. Every time they get close to being ripe, they come and they come eat it. And you can see there, like when they're done, there's tomato pieces all out here. So we think it's the squirrels. Oh, because they're up there on the fence too. They get up on the fence. We find tomatoes, whoops, tomatoes up on the fence. And you can see all the plants have kind of been pushed forward because they get behind them and they pick through them. Anyway, we've been unable to control animals. So I'm not sure exactly where that's gonna go next year. I think we're gonna have to put uh, some sort of fencing around it and some sort of thing up on the up on the fence. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, that this is really bizarre, okay? So this is the uh, pumpkin plant that I sprayed, right? We had some leaves go bad on us, but it, it's, it's shooting out. We're gonna transplant this right now to the ground because it's about ready. But you see the buds happening, right? That's the one I sprayed. Because you can see the little, see the, the tag is in there, right? And then look at this one. This is the one I didn't spray. And you can see little bugs crawling around. There's tons of flies on this one. But it's flourishing. It's bigger than the other one, look. That's the one I sprayed. That's the one I didn't. I have no idea how to even analyze this, but I mean, look at the leaves. They're not, they haven't been eaten or anything. And let's look at these leaves. I mean, they weren't, they haven't been nibbled on either, but, but there's no way for me to determine. So we're going to stick this in the ground too. That's ready. There's no way to determine. Oh, now they're eating the green ones. What? Now they're eating the green ones. They're eating the green tomatoes now? Look, you can see, look at, see this? The animals leaving tomatoes all on the ground over there. Over there, yeah. But I do have a bit of good news on our on our test. This tells me nothing other than, I don't know. I mean, they were identical size. Did it prevent it from growing? You guys are gonna have to help me figure this out. Did the spray stun it? Uh, obviously, it didn't need a spray because that pumpkin one didn't get eaten at all. Do they not like pumpkin leaves? Do they have to eat like over here? Let me show you what started this whole concept was this plant here. This plant got eaten right away. This is the first plant that got attacked. 
Look how bad that was attacked. Now, you ready for this? That cauliflower plant that I just showed you, that went down there, literally I sprayed it and there's been no more eating of that plant anymore. I know it looks horrible, but I'll tell you this, it stopped the plant from being attacked. I'm completely confused now. I have just given you no information that you wanted. It wasn't how I expected this to go down. I expected it to be worse or better, but I can't explain with those two plants what happened. Maybe you guys can down in the comments below. Uh, I'm being honest and everything. You're seeing my real garden. Successes and failures of the show. So here's what I need to do next. And I don't know if I can do it this year. I'm gonna have to wait till next season. We'll do another test on this homemade pesticide. I'm gonna buy two of those plants because I know the bugs love those plants. I should have done them in the first place. So that's it guys. Um, you know, help me out. Help me figure this out. I Neither plant got eaten, so I don't know if it works or not. All right, see you on the next episode.